Hey guys, Luke here from Gramophones. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newest receivers from Denon. This is the X4700H and it is ready for 8K entertainment and high refresh 4K. And along the way, it offers great power, a lot of surround sound channels, and excellent connectivity, all of which we've come to expect from a great name like Denon. We're going to dive in, talk about all of those features, as well as the specific specs of what it has to offer you. But before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the Gramophone channel, click that bell notification icon, because a lot of great stuff is on the way. Now then, the Denon X4700H, and why this is one of our most preferred units from one of our most preferred vendors. This is capable of 125 watts per channel, and with all channels driven, you can still expect to get right around 100 watts. So it's got plenty of power for almost any system. As long as you can stay between like 90 and 100 watts, you really don't need for much more unless we're talking about some seriously huge and demanding theater speakers. Also, this is a 9.2 channel amplified receiver, but it features 11 channels worth of processing. So while the brain in this unit can figure out the processing for 11 channels, it has nine amplifiers built in. So if you wanna use 11, you will have to connect a separate amp, but sometimes that's not a bad thing as Denon always makes their products very scalable by giving you pre-amplifier outs on a product like this. Now about that processing, what exactly is the Denon X4700H processing? Great question. It's going to handle all of your modern movie surround sound formats. Things like Dolby Digital, better yet, Dolby Atmos, and if you have 4K Blu-rays, the true HD variants of those formats, which is the full fat, uncompressed soundtrack that all of us should be desiring to get our hands on because it just sounds that much better. It's also going to do DTS, as well as DTS-X and DTS Neural X for a little bit of that height upscaling. On the note of height upscaling, this can also do Dolby Atmos height virtualization, where you take a track that is not technically Atmos, but the receiver does some smart thinking and then projects some sounds onto the upper channels anyway. This technology actually works pretty well and sounds pretty convincing. Inside the X4700H, this is built around using chips from AKM, one of the finest manufacturers of off-the-shelf DACs that, that pretty much exists. And these particular AKM DACs are 32-bit capable DACs, so it's some of the better stock that AKM has to offer. But what does that do? Well, it can do a lot of things, including really, really good decoding of lossless music types such as FLAC all the way up to 24 bits and at 192 kilohertz. For those of you who haven't heard 24-bit music or really high sample rate music, it can change your life because you get lower lows and higher highs and greater contrast between the quieter and louder parts of the song. And finally, this features all to Z room correction. And you guys have heard me say it a million times now, but I'm gonna say it again because yeah, Room correction, I am a big fan of. I think it's one of the best things to come about in modern AV products. While alone it is not perfect, it really does help for those of us who have some challenges, let's say in whatever room we're setting up our gear in. Not many of us have a room that was perfectly built and designed to facilitate the best listening or watching experience. Therefore, having systems like these in place to instill ensure that we can get the best possible in a given environment is really cool. So when thinking about building a great theater or watching space, or listening room for that matter, consider what the room is like, what you can do to correct it, and using a product like the Denon that has room correction features through software. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is Smart Assistant compatibility. You can use this with Amazon Alexa, Google Voice Assistant, and even the high-end home automation service Josh.ai. Hi Josh! And to use all of those, you need only a connected smart speaker from either of those providers, or you can also do it through your phone. Okay Luke, but what can you actually do with those things? You can ask it to turn the volume up, to turn it down, to skip to the next track, to play, to pause, pretty much all the basic playback controls that you would expect using on your phone, say when using the Heos app. Oh, speaking of the Heos app, it's the built-in streaming platform. 
What it allows you to do is access some of your favorite streaming music providers that are online natively through the software and hardware built right into the receiver. You download Heos on your phone, it connects to your receiver, you use that as a glorified remote to pick what service, what song, all those details, and get the playback going. And what differs from that than say using Bluetooth, rather than your phone being the device doing the streaming, it's the receiver itself. Therefore, it's taking full advantage of it itself being connected to the internet, having a good signal to pull down, and being able to stream high quality content since it's all happening right here, it's not being projected over a low quality Bluetooth signal. The HEO system actually works very well, provides you access to many things, Amazon Music, Tidal, Pandora, Spotify, and many, many more. And it is really well implemented and I highly recommend it. Now, as far as other formats go for wireless playback, it does have Bluetooth, so if you want to use it, you can, but I do recommend going through HEOS and using the services that way. It also features AirPlay 2, so if you're using Apple Music and want to be able to play it back through your receiver through a high-quality means, you can. AirPlay 2 will support the transmission of CD-quality music, think 16-bit, 44 kilohertz. One other cool trick up the sleeve of the 4700H in the Bluetooth department is that this can actually stream Bluetooth out and allow you to listen on headphones. So if you want to transmit what's going on in your TV to a pair of Bluetooth headphones because you don't want to disturb anyone, this can also be connected via Bluetooth to wireless Bluetooth speakers if you want to do some multi-room listening via Bluetooth and include the system wired up to the 4700H in that session. There's also a discrete Denon AVR app that allows you to power the receiver on and off, adjust your music playback, and do things like change the volume. If you take a look at the front faceplate, what you'll notice is that lovely brush dark finish and that excellent screen that is very transparent and clear about any information it's providing, such as your volume level and what channels are playing, you'll also notice the four quick select buttons. Those buttons allow you to assign any of your preferred settings to your most used sources, things like Blu-ray, cable TV box, maybe your PlayStation 5, really anything can be assigned to that, allowing you to very quickly access both those sources and the specific settings that you've put on those sources for things like EQ or certain modes of operation. You can also see that throughout the design of the product it has a very simplistic look to it, but it's also elegant at the same time. Denon, as well as their sister company Marantz, they make products that while they do look good, they're understated because they're meant to either tuck away and just disappear into the room, be it inside of an AV cabinet, or if they are out in the open, to not draw too much attention to themselves and away from what you should be watching, such as your movies, your games, and your TV. And looking at the front panel again, if you look at some of the details, from the nice polished denim logo to the large knobs for both volume and source selection that have a nice tactile feel to them. The little Denon in command logo on the front, which denotes that this is an X series product, Denon's higher end of receivers. This is a pretty handsome unit. For under $2,000, the Denon X4700H receiver takes your surround sound listening and watching experience to the next level. Built around an assortment of excellent features great room correction and the quality that we've come to know Denon for when it comes to the basics of how good their amps sound and how functional this unit is, it's really hard to do any better. So if you want to pick up your next theater experience at home, head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can check out securely and have one of these shipped fast and free straight to your door. Also, be sure to call and stop by and come visit us at one of our showroom locations. You can find products like this one on display at our Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg locations, and we'd be happy to demonstrate them for you. And while you're out, please visit our beautiful Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley. You can find us on social media too. We're on Facebook, Instagram, House, Twitter, and a handful of others. The links will be down below. If you guys need help coming up with project ideas, if you need to schedule a service request, or you'd like to speak with one of our hi-fi home theater and interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything that's been covered here on the channel, and there's some more you'd like to know about. Okay guys, please give us a like and click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below. 
and make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. And I want to hear back from you guys on what you think of the X4700H, what receiver you want the most, and what products you want to see us review in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Be seeing you.